So I had two boxes back from CGC. We devoured the moderns, 25 books in there. And now we have another box. So we got another box. This is a 9.8 pre-screen. Um, I'm not sure how many books I got back, but the box is the same size and about the same weight as the, uh, the 25 book modern. So I am hopeful that we did well. Uh, let's open it up on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, panelologists. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that great stuff. Uh, check out the uh, description. There are links to eBay store, whatnot, email, all that great stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is a, going to be a CGC unboxing of a 25 book, 9.8 pre-screen. Sorry. Uh, I just recorded another video, which you may have already seen, which I already dropped of a modern submission. When I got these my submit these through my my buddy at my lcs um and i stopped by the lcs today and there are two boxes and they were the same size felt like approximately the same weight so i'm pretty sure i did okay in terms of the number of books that came back in nine eight now these are all moderns with the exception of one book because there was one book i had on my list to submit of 25 and i couldn't find it so i threw another book in um there really shouldn't be any mystery on the grades they're probably all nine eights i mean if we get a nine nine that would be interesting it would be exciting but then we'd I, i'd want to check the census to see like if that's an aberration if it's the first one or something cuckoo, cuckoo like that at any rate um we'll talk about um what i'm going to do with these books and um i talk about the four s's when i pick up collections or go to shows or flea markets sell save slab spec these are all been slabbed so it's down to sell save spec so which books are going to be part of my personal collection there are going to be several uh, which books am I looking to sell and which look, books am I looking to spec on? So uh, kind of go through that. And then at the end, any of the books that um, I'm willing to sell, we'll do a little claim sale. Hopefully get some deals if there's books that you are interested in. Um, so I'm not sure how many. The fun part of 9.8 pre-screen is see how many came back 9.8. So uh, my buddy opened this box up and resealed it because he checked to see if any of the books had been damaged and needed to uh, go back for a mechanical error. I did have one of those in a recent submission. So I don't know, like, how many books are in here. So I'm not really going to look. Um, oh, there is some buffer. So, yeah, it's not 25 books. We know that up front because there's some bubble wrap. So, eh. And there is this. But this is pretty light. I'll get to this at the end. There are all books inside. These are the books that were rejected. Um, so I don't know if I'm at the front or the back of this box. I'm at the front of the box. So we're just going to go through these books. I'll talk about where I got them as well um and no need to cover up grades green lantern 25 9.8 white pages there are actually three of these in here these are all going to be specced on um i got one of them for 25 dollars at a garage sale one i'm not sure where i got it from another for 24 dollars at a garage sale and you'll see the fair market value of the books listed as we go through them so that is going in my spec pile i have a lot i got 50 slabs back today always exciting Okay, um, so yeah, there, there were three of those in the submission. How many did we get back? I don't know which ones they were. So uh, we'll take a look at that at the end. Uh, another one, nine, eight white pages. This has a ton of first appearances. First appearance of Larflees. I'll put um, Monk and Atrocitus, Natural Core War Ends, Death of Anti-Monitor. So this was a book that was really hot, I think, you know, as a DC guy, I think it has really great spec potential. So, next book is, same one? Yep, all three. All three got the 9.8. That is cool. That's a book I've been hunting. I think I got the, the variant in a 9.6. So, what is next? Oh, we're getting close to the one that I really, really want. Hit Monkey number one. White Pages. I got this at a garage sale for 20 bucks. This is, I think, volume one. This is a limited series. And there was, of course, an animated series about the time I found this at the garage sale. So that I'll probably let go. So we got Hit Monkey done. We'll see. If the next one is, hopefully, that's one of the ones I really, really wanted in a 9.8. 
Please, 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 please. Yes, yes. I really wanted this book in a 9.8. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I got this on eBay, which I thought was a phenomenal deal. And to tell you how long it takes me to clean and press and submit stuff, I got this in July of 2022 on eBay for $53.30. I'm not sure what the fair market value of this right now. What this is, it's probably come down since I bought it. Um, but it is the Justice League 31, the first full appearance of Jessica Cruz. This is the Batman 66 variant by Mike and Laura Alred. And you can see, right, you got the... Um, Adam West style Batman with Burt Ward Robin in the Batmobile and I you have the tentacles is that would that be Starro and then the 60s members of the Justice League that is really cool I've been trying to collect all these Batman 66 variants most of them are issue number 31 because when DC did the um, new 52 they just basically restarted the numbering all at the beginning so they all were number one in the first month and so on um, I have a few of these. Uh, my buddy Aaron, ABH Comics, had picked up some for me, and uh, that was really nice to, for him to find those and pass them on to me. I really appreciate that. But this is this is the biggest one of the um, of the all red variant covers, and it's what uh, August twenty fourteen. So I'm a huge fan of Batman sixty six. I like Mike all red. This is PC all day. That is, that's the one of this entire submission that I really, really, really wanted in a 9.8. There are the books I'd like to have. Okay. And since I have my list alphabetical, I probably have a pretty decent idea of what didn't, didn't, didn't make it. Now we jump to the top. Amazing Spider-Man number 55. This was the Patrick Gleason webhead, which was so popular for a while. This is the second printing variant cover. I got the same garage sales that hit monkey for 10 bucks. So hopefully, I'm not sure what this, these have fallen in value quite a bit, but it is, I believe it's a one in 50. So hopefully it still has some value. More than what I paid for, it would be nice. Oh yes, this is PC also. This is Batman 609, first appearance of Tommy Elliott Hush. So the beginning of the Hush storyline, classic Jim Lee cover. That is great. I got this book from Streetside Anthony for thirty bucks back in September of twenty twenty two. This is how long this is how long it takes me to process books. Um, that's on the is that on the art or is that a hair in there? Uh, no, it's on the outside. It was just it was staticky. Okay, so that is awesome. I, I'm a Batman collector. I don't know what the copy I originally got was, but I have a 9.8. If that one I ever get to and comes back a 9.8, then I have two. But, uh, yeah. This one I'll probably... Well, we'll see what the next one is. Oops. It is Catwoman, number 43. This is the variant cover uh, by Sosa Micah. And there is... Uh, this one was quite popular. Um, she did several of the covers uh, around this time. This one I picked up new from the uh, LCS. So that is very nice. That is also PC. And number 44, another Sosa Mica variant. I think these were one in 25s. Yeah. Again, I'm not sure what the fair market value is today. These variants, they, they go up right after release and then they kind of settle down to where they're going to be. So again, this one I bought, um, you know, ordered at FOC. And maybe, maybe, yep, the third of these three, Catwoman 45, so is the Micah variant. All three of these I bought when they came out. So those are all very nice. Gonna keep all of those. Okay. Oops. Yeah, we still have plenty to go. So I did fine on this pre-screen. The problem is I'm gonna keep a lot of the books, so in terms of paying for the pre-screen, maybe not so much. 
Alrighty. Let's see what we got next. Spider Gwen number one. Nine eight white pages. I bought a few of these. Uh, this I got at the Stormville flea market for 20 bucks. So I think that's a good pickup. I think I probably got this from Cards Warren at Cards and Comics. That would be my guess. High grade recent book. Often from Warren. Modern book. Again, these were all moderns. Ah, Spider-Man number seven. The Ramos variant, the first appearance and first cover appearance of Spider-Boy. I'm going to hold on to that. That's pretty cool. That I picked up at Terrificon for about 15 bucks. I thought that was a good deal. Up next, I have so much plastic around me. Uh, War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number one in a 9.8. There are plenty of 9.8s on the census. This has been, I mean, this is a spec pile. This has been a big spec book. And, um, you know, it's uh, just waiting to see if any of these characters, first appearance of Luna Snow, Wave, Crescent, and Io, first use appearance of Arrow. So, I think I picked this book up when it came out. Got to put it on the spec deck for now. Up next, yep, this one. X-Men number 25. Uh, Magneto removes Wolverine's adamantium. It's a hollow foil cover. All the X-Men titles that month, which would have been, what, the, 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 yeah, October of 93. This is the only book from prior to 2000. Generally, my 9.8 pre-screens, I've been splitting them up into modern, 2000 forward, which is this is. I was short a book, and I'm disappointed with one book that didn't get it, it looks like. Um, but I picked this up from Streetside Anthony in a dollar bin. So, good deal there. Amazing Spider-Man, number 26. The, the, <laughs> the spoiler variant. Uh, I don't know why I got this slab. This is the death of Ms. Marvel. She got better. Yeah. The, the, the um, death quotes of Ms. Marvel. Spoiler quotes variant cover. What else do we have? How many more do we have? How many more? Yoda number one. I picked this up when it came out. Just thought first Yoda. Nice book. I'll sell that and use it, you know, maybe hold on to it until I do a Star Wars whatnot show. Got that for cover price. There's uh, there's only four more. I think, yep. So and we did okay. Not as good as I thought we might, but Justice Society of America, number one. I had two of these in here. This great Alex Ross cover. This is going to go in the PC. Well, one of these. If I got two 9.8s. It's going to go in the PC. I got um, both of them from Streetside Anthony. Let me take a look at another, the next book. Yeah, same. Two of them I got from Streetside Anthony. I, I'll have to do a comparison, figure out which one I want to keep in the PC. This is the first appearance of Cyclone. Uh who is the granddaughter of the original Red Tornado and uh, was a character in the Black Adam movie. That over here. So we got both of those and just two more. Now this is going to be a little disappointing. I thought we had it turned out. Let's uh, we'll dig into the box. Then this, Just Side of America number one. This is a PC book, this Jerry Ordway variant. Love Jerry Ordway. Love the Justice Society. So that's PC all day. And there's maybe one more. Oof. I think I'm afraid I know what it is and what didn't get 
the 9.8, and it is this poison ivy foil variant. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, uh, that in there. is that it? That's it. I thought there were more books that would have gotten graded. So we ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, 20 out of 25. Can't complain about that, but I'm a little disappointed in two of the books that didn't get the grade. And um, we'll go into the, the raw books enclosed. take a closer look might just resubmit them and yeah okay so marvel point one this is the first i believe the first appearance of sam alexander is that the one i get confused with all these marvel point ones this one was disappointing um new x-men 115 this is the first appearance of negasonic teenage warhead this one was disappointing i have a few of these um, this is the first appearance of Cassandra Nova. And I don't know. I thought that was really clean. I'll have to take a closer look at these. Maybe just resubmit them. Batman and Robin, number one. First appearance of Professor Pig. And then this one, uh, X-Force, number 116. The first appearance of X-Statics. So, 20 out of 25. Not bad. Um, you know, I don't know if they're... I'm going to go through the fair market value of these books. And, um... We'll see. Some of them will be available for sale. We'll do a little claim sale coming up in just a second. So we're back. I put together the fair market value of all the books, the 20 graded books. It came down, it came out to $2,225. Not a huge payoff. And to be honest, the three um, books with the highest value are the Justice League 31, the all red cover, um, the Catwoman 43, the Sosa Mica variant, and the Batman 609, the first chapter of the Hush storyline. Um, you know, basically I paid what? For those three books, I paid a total of 100 bucks, and they're worth a total of uh, 660 you know. So another 75 bucks, you know, to get them graded. Um, did pretty well. Um, so I'm going to go through a few of the books that I... Um, you saw the fair market value. Some of them low price. Some of them I probably shouldn't have submitted. But, you know, sometimes you, you roll the dice on something and um, whatever. So let's go through the books that um, are in this claim sale. Here's the way that we work claim sales um, when we're talking about CGC books that I opened up. Um, these are books I'm willing to let go. Um, if you, uh, I'll put a price on them. I'll put a link to the cert number, or I'll put each book with its cert number, its price in the description of this video. And then um, if you want to claim it, reach out to me via email. My email, which is in the description, is Bronzeville Comics, all one word, bronzevillecomics at gmail.com. If a book is paid for, I'll put sold, you know, Fantastic Four One, sold, whatever it is. Um, in the comments of the video, first come, first served. All right, so um, we're gonna have a few of these books available. This Poison Ivy number one, this is an uh, Eastside Comics foil variant from, uh, this was available at New York Comic Con. Yeah, New York convention exclusive. If you can see through the, the double glare. A uh, Will Jack cover, $80. Now, payment, PayPal, um, Friends and family is my preference. If you feel more comfortable, goods and services, we're going to add 3% on, and I'll just bump that up to the next highest dollar. So that'd be $240. We'll make this $85. Shipping is $15 for up to three comics. Uh, I ship insured, signature ver certification, verification. Okay. Require the signature. Um, I got off on that. <laughs> this one. Amazing Spider-Man, number 26, The Death of um, Ms. Marvel. Uh, we're going to... 40 bucks, if you're interested. And this one. Uh, 
I'll give you a nice deal on this one if you're interested because I got it for nothing. X Men one ten one X Men twenty five ninety five dollars. Spider Gwen number one. Eighty dollars. Amazing Spider-Man, second print, one in twenty-five, seventy-five dollars. And this is the last one that I have available because I'm keeping a lot of them, either for spec or for PC. Hit Monkey number one. Uh, 160. So that's the claim sale. Very brief one with this particular video. Um, but, you know, 20 out of 25 is, for me, I consider passing uh, basically 17 out of 25 is 68%. So we did better than that. Um, I'm, I'm still waiting for the day where we get a perfect pre screen. Uh, not here yet. But um, overall, happy with the results and the the book that i really wanted back was the all red justice league 31 got that in a 9 8 and because i got such a great deal on that um so anyway thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my video uh you can take a look at a couple of my other videos here and this is jim saying until next time enjoy your comics